Hello Taurus, welcome, thank you for being here. We're doing your weekly reading. So this is a day after the full moon in Scorpio. I hope you guys are doing well. We will see the 29th through the 5th. I'll be using the Celtic Cross spread and we're going to look at your situation, what's helping or challenging that, the root of this reading or where the heart is, recent past or past, but we'll see what do you believe is going to happen, what is coming towards you. We will see your headspace, your behavior, what is influencing you, external situations, hopes and fears, and the best possible outcome and one overall card here. At the end, I will look um, at a few oracle cards to see for advice and guidance for you guys. All right, Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars. What is going on 29th through the 5th? Or what does Taurus need to know? What are the energies that Taurus might be dealing with? One more. The Four of Cups. Um, Aries had that in their situation. Now, it doesn't have to be, again, that you're dealing with Aries. I know that someone may not like that if you're not dealing. But um, first of all, this gives me always the kind of feeling, the one they got away or what's the next, you know, offer here is like, Whatever are these cards, um, these cups here of celebration or union, it's just that one particular cup that stands out here, that emotion, that feelings. And someone has been trying to not give up on that feeling, very guarded, waiting for some type of news, not giving up. It's just that one particular offer. I don't know if it's you, the one that got away. What Some of you is like, what next? What What is next that is important for me? All right, let's see. The Two of Swords, Moon in Libra, like at crossroads here regarding the truth, regarding some type of clarity. All right, so what is your situation? <laughs> now, this may be you. We will see. I want to clarify. Or this might be a person you're dealing with. It can be another Capricorn Taurus Virgo. It doesn't have to be any of those signs. I actually want to clarify before I say anything about the King of Pentacles. But usually it's coming as someone with a situation that being well off. Especially when it comes again. Look at it. Any type of career. Any type of when it comes here to someone feeling like I am good where I am. Or have, I have achieved at least legacies. I've achieved when it comes to the material world. Um, that's what I'm getting. This might be a person you're connecting with or you're kind of focusing here on your stability, practical matters, your goals. Okay, so the King of Pentacles is challenged by the Three of Swords. We had the Two of Swords. So it feels like a difficult decision, heartbreak here. Someone feels like um, there's some type of distractions always when I, I look at the Three of Swords. We will see. I, I really want to clarify before I say anything. Okay, there you are again with a higher fan for some of you regarding it might be um, a matter here of marriage values traditions for some of you it can be regarding governmental situation I, I, I feel like it has to do mostly regarding your faith your belief and what's next remember there's something here that you need to be clear at the heart of this reading, of course, with the heart and whatever is the crisis, you want to know here that you're making the right decision. Spiritual connection can be as well here. Unless some of you is like legal matters, law here, and you're trying to stay um, ethical. There you are again with the Mercury in Taurus uh, energy. Now, in the present situation as the King of Pentacles, I, I am not getting that you are afraid of a financial situation but i don't know if you feel like if you deal with something you might uh the fear is of lacking or i feel like in this situation the five of pentacles because the hierophant is such a traditional type of card and is looking at uh, things from a conventional or traditional way this is a fear of being left out or not you know kind of being accepted it might be financial for some of you struggle but I feel like whatever is this decision is the fear of lacking or being left out or something here going wrong for you when it comes to this faith, this marriage. If I'm going to be literal, again, it might be regarding uh, 
some type of government and contracts here. All right, so with the hanging man, you feel like this is a situation that needs a different perspective, different angle, different view, but also you feel like I cannot do anything at the moment, just kind of maybe again, wait. It can be the sacrificial situation here. Wait until I understand. The moon coming in, we said the full moon. I want to say with the moon, you are going to look at uh, this situation in a more emotional way. There's still elusiveness here. There's still uncertainties, but it's a very much imaginative here. Again, I keep looking at the full moon. What needs to like come true here? What needs to um, come to the surface? Your subconscious or something here mysterious. We'll see. The page of wands. Okay, so I feel like whatever is this that it's coming in, you feel like more ready to kind of explore this situation. You're going to go by your instinct. There's also here for some of you an interest that you might be feeling because the page of wands is just pure adventure, enthusiastic. It can be a crush. It can be someone here that feels like I have this uh, desire to pursue here and I don't necessarily have to look at what is accepted or what not. You feel alive with the page of wands entrepreneurial, dating, being free, just pure passion here, being driven by their passion and by their chemistry and by their desire. It's like there's this confidence. It is a page, so it is a developing situation. So maybe that's why you feel like uncertain. Of course, the King of Pentacles does not take um, kind of an unnecessary risk. And this is mostly, again, messages, exciting messages, uh, thinking here in a very... I want to say adventurous kind of way. I'm going to go with it. All right. The world is what surrounds you. This might be your blind spot. Your person is going to be here. Whatever is this worry that you have, some type of achievement, closure. There might be someone that thinks the world of you externally, but it's going to be, you are going to go towards this completion. Look at, we have all the fixed signs here like a new chapter opening up, whatever it is that you want to discover here and go just with that pure instinct of discovery, it's going to give you a sense of uh, completion or new journey here. The seven of pentacles, which is your card in your hopes and fears. You want to decide that everything that you're going to uh, invest is going to be worth it. You might feel like I still need time and I'm getting a little bit impatient here from the page of wands, but yeah, that's what you're hoping for. Wow. Okay. The knight of cups, the ace of wands. There's, it's like, that's why I feel like this is pure Taurus energy that I'm getting here. Or again, an earth element that is trying to stay kind of, you know, practical, uh, steady, it's just what has been proven. I cannot just let passion here or I need to sacrifice. I need to surrender. But actually, what's coming in and some of you, a heart's choice, if it is not about romance, romantic feelings are, come, are going to come in and it, it's going to be out of the blue because we're getting the full moon. So out of this full moon energy or moon here, I should say, but I'm getting like, you know, like a, that and it feels like some type of romantic gestures, love coming in that's the best possible outcome with whatever you feel it to me it says that even with the three of swords you're getting that knight of cups that you're on the right track to, you don't have to feel like this is something that is going to end up in heartbreak or is going to hurt you saying the best situation is just actions towards love opening up let's see Let's see what's going on. Let's clarify. All right, so what do we need to know about this King of Pentacles? Wow. <laughs> and there's the Queen of Wands here too as well. I'm just going to look at this course, the High Priestess. There's, it feels like for some of you, it might be that someone that has avoided the situation pretended or blocked but this king of pentacles is surrounded here by wish fulfillment and desires now we have mars uh 
no Mars, I'm sorry, Jupiter in Pisces here. But yeah, is this someone that, or this is a person you wish for, or the King of Pentacles is wishing for someone here that again, has romantic feelings, has a crush, wants something here to lead to um, promise and commitment. I feel like the King of Pentacles is getting that wish. What is uh, the Three of Swords? All right, so definitely it's about a decision here. We have family, the world. Or for some of you, there's um, there's family involved. We have generations here. So generations for some of you. Someone that has been waiting to feel uh, completed or, again, to leave legacies behind. It's like this is, this King of Pentacles has been planning this family situation for some time. It might be a distance and barriers for some of you, but I'm getting that there's something about legacies inheritance uh traditions strong traditions here i don't know for some of you feel like you have to break a tradition or you have to make a decision um uh, but yeah the difficulty is that someone feels uh that they have to kind of prepare look at the knight of cups is coming in which is more romantic The approach, the Knight of Swords is just, I got to say what I got to say and whatever happens, happens. But that's the difficulty. How do I approach? You approach this with uh, sentiments, with love, with understanding. But yeah, that's, um, that's the challenge of that King of Pentacles that has a wish. What is the Hierophant, please? Okay, the Seven of Cups, Venus in Scorpio. We have the King of Wands and Four of Pentacles. Yeah, and there's the fear here. For some of you, you're kind of questioning it. Am I fantasizing? Is this real? Is this not? Remember, there's whatever this change, crisis, the Hierophant is going to um, abide by so certain code of honor or obligations here or tradition. And that's the fear of someone opening the door. There's a lot of passion and desire here. But someone, uh, especially the Seven of Cups is coming here and mm, should I do this? Should I not? Are these feelings real? Is this lust? Is this, you know, real? That's the kind of, I feel like the questions that are coming in from the Hierophant. Someone wants to know that there's going to be commitment here as well. What is, um, okay. there's so much fear. Or for some of you, speaking up, saying something. If you have the right information, there's some contract as well in, in use. What is this Five of Pentacles? Yeah, is that Ace of Wands, man? Yeah, the Page of Wands. You want, for some of you with the Eight of Pentacles, you've been focusing and you've been trying here to stay uh, meticulous and careful. Think of Virgo. But there's another thing, um, situation, and it might, you might have even started working with this person or you felt like you promised there's going to be improvement. Whatever it is, there's always been that passion. And for some of you, you felt like where did that passion go or what that initiation? If you want to start this again, you are scared that maybe it's not going to be enough or someone is not going you know, to kind of um, open up. Whatever that interest is. Why the hanging man? Some more? Okay. Man, such a Piscean energy. You think like no matter what, when it's the right time, you guys are going to be together. Have that happily ever after. You feel like right now I just have to look at it from an emotional bliss and connection. But you feel like also you have to sacrifice something here. What is this? Yep, you're burdened. You're trying to recover. Having time before you decide here but this all these tens Taurus you feel like there's a certain sense of completion or ending here and new beginnings but you feel like right now you cannot do much or and or also I feel like right now you have to kind of you know hold on to certain things because of the burdens that you carry but you feel like the fi the finality here is going to be when you and this person will end up together so what is the moon the 
Eight of Swords. I keep getting these challenges, these barriers that you want to pass from uh, afar regarding family um, and commitment, but I feel like someone is blocked because the Eight of Swords is not thinking here intuitively or is not feeling, it's just being blocked by other circumstances. With the Moon, I feel like something has to come here that you've been blinded the way you have seen things. Are you going to understand your emotions and you're going to understand what or uh, the person that is coming towards you? What blocks someone from opening up? In a way, I feel like there's going to be some purging here. There's still not everything is going to be enlightened, but it feels like something will help get someone of this jail mentality or entrapment or fear. It's like it's saying you're not supposed to see it. You're supposed to feel it. What is the Page of Wands, please? The Page of Wands again. You will feel exciting and you feel like you have the right tools to work. Yeah, you're hoping. No matter what's going on, I feel like you are going to be more excited to open up or to explore this situation. Remember the Seven of Pentacles there. You feel like, okay, I'm going to invest, but what's going to come in? You're going to be more talkative, more enthusiastic, more open. You've, that's why I feel like, I feel like you, you're thinking now things are going to, to start for you. What is this world uh, externally? And for some of you saying go for it. Yep, there's a completion. It says a new chapter, a new beginning. Something here is going to give you the sense of completion as you open to a new start. Or someone wants a new start here. They feel like completed and now they want to take a leap of faith with you. But for some of you, whatever you want to start is then you're going to get that recognition and it's going to open up new door, new possibilities here. Let me get another one. What is this world? Okay, this has been someone that has been worried a lot from a distance for some of you or worry about what's going to happen. How is this going to end? Remember the eight of swords that is coming in. There's going to be a completion and a new beginning here regarding what you have been stuck or waiting. Yep. Oh my God, the knight of cups love i keep getting someone is ready to charge in and open up now earth and water are not the most quick fast pa paced but it feels like someone is ready has invested and now wants to propose wants to um you know there's a direction here close the distance what is the seven of pentacles please one more the King of Swords. You see someone has been thinking and thinking or reaching out or making a decision here. But I'm getting messages of love. Yep, the Knight of Pentacles. You might be thinking someone needs time or you need time to figure this out. But I'm telling you the outcome will be that someone feels like this is what I feel and I'm going with it. What is this Knight of Cups? <laughs> the Four of Pentacles. Um... Uh, Remember, we got here uh, someone that was afraid of being left out or uh, kind of feeling lacking, like someone will leave me outside. So it feels like this Knight of Cups is someone that is ready to open up their feelings. There's been a lot of healing here and balance, temperance. This is also unconditional love. For me, I feel like two people coming together. But yeah, it, it's saying someone that has been closed off or afraid to open up. Now it's ready to open up. That's what's coming in. Some type of receptive, open feelings here. Ready to work on these feelings. Oh my goodness. Yep, Seven of Pentacles. This uh, has been someone that has been waiting and waiting for the right moment. Harm none, none, the justice. For some of you, because of consequences, as I mentioned, maybe cultural here. It feels like the time is now. If someone feels like it's more active more ready here to open up and invest but i feel like for some of you what you have been waiting for the right time it feels like now remember you got um the reading i feel like here the last time 
things were speeding up. That's why I'm getting right now. It's just okay. Now there's more actions here. Someone is more ready to open their feelings or to go through this kind of um, without fear, without holding back, feeling like they're going to lose. You have been feeling left out. You or this person for some time. What is the Ace of Wands, please? Oh my goodness, that is so beautiful. The lovers, this is beautiful. So it feels like the overall energy here is a new beginning. Though we have this major arcana here with the Empress, the, the Star, and the lovers. He's saying this is that new beginning, that spark, that potential that brings you and someone else together. But it's been like wishing here. Remember the wish fulfillment as well. Something you have been wishing you and this person for some time to come together. Now it's like the actions are coming in. Now there's more movement into this connection. Remember that the cups are not very quick, swift, but I feel like the intention is that the momentum is growing here. Something finally is moving in the right direction. All right, so I'm going to look. What do you need to know? What guidance here for Taurus, Simon, Rising, Venus, and Mars? guidance and advice here what they should be aware of and know regarding their situation one more you see <laughs> I'm telling you passion ignited All right, obstacles and challenges, what it is, the truth, judgment. All right, so the nine of pentacles, material harvest. Again, that king of pentacles, remember we're looking at uh, whatever is this ten of pentacles. So first it's telling you or that you feel like you need to be completed here when it comes to your own needs, uh, when it comes to your physical satisfaction. This is someone that feels like I have what I need. I'm well off. I don't know if your person is trying this or you, but focusing on that. Wow, this is so beautiful. I had this with another reading, um, the Empress. So I feel like once someone feels like they have what they need, now it's like love is coming in, like love is blooming. This is also pre-Empress and this is Empress energy. Now there's growth here, more than what we need. This is unconditional love, sensuality. Okay, there's um, the Three of Cups energy, reunions here creating this i feel like a companionship or partnership for some of you if you're not being able to kind of I've been mostly focused here on the material harvest now he's saying it's time to connect to open up have hope my goodness have hope uh, taurus beautiful things are coming towards you this is amazing oh yeah do not let temptation fear remember here uh with uh five of pentacles he's saying have hope there's something here that holds you, maybe because of the material harvest or maybe because of something here that you feel codependent, you're your person. But I feel like have hope and do not let yourself here to this temptation uh, or fear, especially if, you know, just focusing on that um, energy when it comes to the money. It can be very much ambitious, but someone is just obsessed with that because they're afraid. He's saying open your heart here. Um, maybe again some of you reconciling or even going out with your friends it's going to be very important to not kind of pull you back in a situation here um, when it comes to the devil it's just keep on going just because of greed or ambition or sometimes like worry that is not enough it seems like it's very important i truly hope this resonates with you guys thank you bye-bye